We hear about the importance of exercise all the time, how exercise is good for the heart and helps you burn calories. But did you know it also increases the size of your brain? When you begin to exercise, the areas in the brain that are linked to memory, coordination, task management, and planning and inhibition are enlarged to function faster and more efficiently. Exercising is highly underrated because the general population primarily views exercise as a gateway to improve our physical appearance. However, there are plenty of people out there that have no desire to look like Superman or Wonder Woman and still exercise regularly because they understand how much more it can do for your health, specifically your brain, which is arguably the most important organ in the human body. Now in days, technology and services have improved to the point where the average person can simply have their groceries delivered to their doorstep, amongst other convenient services, reducing the amount we need to move in our daily lives. It is also important to know that the human brains have significantly gotten smaller over the past 10 to 20,000 years. Do you think there is a correlation? <laughs>
A study published by the National Library of Medicine in 2008 documents how exercise consolidates information into long-term memory in the brain. If you think that only regular and persistent exercise will impact brain health and memory, you are wrong. The good news is that the gap to better brain health is not as drastic as you may think. Another study published in 2012 showed how one intense single workout session, either performed immediately after or before forming a motor skill set, could improve the long-term retention of a motor skill. This led the authors to conclude that the timing of exercise in relation to learning plays an essential role in the memorization process. More so, there are several studies that show BMI and aerobic fitness are significant markers of academic performance. Besides learning and memory, exercise also improves your concentration and brain fog. Brain fog is defined as having moments of cognitive impairment, which produces symptoms of poor focus, lack of concentration, and trouble remembering things. As a byproduct of improving our learning and memory, the BDNF chemicals and norepinephrine neurotransmitters increase our alertness, concentration, and energy, thereby counteracting the symptoms of brain fog. According to science, people with chronic fatigue syndrome need to exercise more often to combat their symptoms. Physical training helps to increase our energy levels, which assist us in overcoming these conditions and other serious illnesses. Other research shows that physical exercise can be more effective in combating chronic fatigue syndrome than normal treatments since passive therapies only foster relaxation of the muscles. On the opposite end, exercise also improves your quality of sleep, which in turn helps you to feel better and can lead to better productivity. The change in mood that exercise provides is night and day. Once you begin to exercise consistently, going too many days without any physical activity will actually make you feel off. Have you ever experienced the runner's high or a feel-good sensation immediately after exercise? If you have, then you understand the power of exercise and how it boosts your mood. After a workout, your brain is flooded with dopamine, serotonin, and norepinephrine. This abundance of neurotransmitters gives you a temporary euphoric state of content feelings and a general sense of well-being. Multiple studies have consistently shown that exercise is known for decreasing depression, anxiety, and stress. Exercise stimulates the body to release endorphins, which are hormones that help generate positive feelings and reduce pain perceptions. The best part of all this is that the intensity of exercise doesn't matter. Simply performing a form of training for a certain amount of time will significantly improve your mood and alleviate any signs of depression. If the improvement of your brain health is not enough, exercise can also boost your libido. The more exercise you undertake, the more it increases sexual desire, function, and performance. Why? Because regular exercise improves blood circulation, muscle flexibility, and the cardiovascular system. According to research, individuals who engage in physical activities usually experience more sexual activity frequency and satisfaction. Moreover, it has been reported to happen in both men and women regardless of their age bracket. Science shows that men and women with mental issues have reduced sex drive. Mental instability can sometimes even cause erectile dysfunction in men. Fortunately, a routine of physical activities can help an individual overcome it and improve their sexual performance. While exercise is proven to boost sexual drive, taking a regular brisk walk won't help as much as performing resistance training several times a week. Experts recommend getting anywhere from three to five times per week, depending on your experience. So make sure to combine a few days resistance training along with cardio-related workouts. If you are looking to target and enhance a specific element of brain health through exercise, the following list may come in handy. For brain fog and concentration, try yoga and tai chi. For memory, try aerobic classes, walking, and cycling. To improve blood circulation, there are several cardio activities you can try, such as walking, riding a bicycle, running, swimming, kickboxing, skipping rope, and skiing. For stress and anxiety, yoga will also work well. And for depression, aerobic and resistance training will be your best options. An optimal exercise program combines a skill acquisition exercise and an aerobic one. Tennis and biking are a perfect example. Exercises that require a level of skill strengthens and expands our brain neural networks. Aerobic exercise, for example, enhances mood by boosting the levels of all three neurotransmitters. The more complex the movements, the more complex the synaptic connections. Still not convinced? Here are a few fun facts. Paleolithic humans walked and ran five to 10 miles a day just to eat, meaning our sedentary lifestyle is not catered to our DNA and explains the obesity crisis. Also, every 50 minutes of weekly exercise correlates with a 50% drop in risk of depression. Remember, eating healthy and regular exercise can be difficult in the beginning, 
But once you stop being a sugar addict and train consistently enough to overcome your inherent laziness, you will feel your brain more awake and lighter than ever. So there you have it. Did you know how important exercise was to our brain health before watching this video? And do you think there is a correlation between the size of our brains and how little we move due to technology? Share with us your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed today's video, check out this related video to see more. Until next time.